I talked about the little cotton rabbits when I was going through my yarn haul so I thought I would just take the opportunity to show you here some of the patterns from the little cotton rabbits that I have downloaded off Etsy and if you want um, it's Julie Williams is the actual name of the designer if you want patterns by Julie then please buy them from Etsy or Ravelry because a lot of people are pirating them at the moment which is really sad because you know these people they work very hard um, to make these patterns and they're not making a, you know a lot of money from the not big businesses so you know please 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 make sure that you are buying patterns from a reputable company um, I think Julie tells you on her website were the you know the people that she allows to sell her patterns actually are so this is the original little cotton rabbit and as you can see it's really cute but there's different versions I see I'm going to be careful with copyright so I'm just gonna take it away and I'm just gonna show you that you can do the rabbit um, in different ways so you can do the rabbit plain or you could decide that you want the rabbit to have a different looking face so you could decide that you want it to have um, a patch like that or you might decide that you want it to look like that one of those sorts of bunnies um, or you might decide that you just want a very small patch on the eye so there's that Julie also does a lot of different animals. She does the dog. And again, you're not limited to just one type of dog. You can get all of these as well in boys and girls. So this is the boy dog. But again, you can do so many different types of dogs. So she's got different types of dogs there, you can see. Uh, I can't make my mind up because my dog is a Cavachon. So he's a cross between a King Charles Spaniel and a Bichon. So he kind of looks like these two. Um, so I'm trying to kind of figure out which one would be best uh, to do that would look like him. I'm sure I'll probably do quite a few before I decide on the one that I want to do. The thing I like as well about downloading patterns is, again, I don't want to show too much and get done for copyright, but um, she'll have instructions and you can make it really big so you can really home in on on what you're doing and see what you're doing if you download them because i've never downloaded patterns before this is the first time and she's got such brilliant brilliant things to show you and then there's the dungarees that i was talking about that i'm going to use the stone wash for and these are so cute oh that's the cat sorry because they also got a little bunny rabbit that you can make to put in the pockets and it's not just pant dungarees you can make it into like a skirt dungarees as well so that's really cute then we have the cat the cat little girl she's really cute um and then we've got the deer which are, i'm in the middle of having a go at making at the moment and the deer pattern actually comes as a supplement with the fox pattern oops so yeah if you buy the fox pattern the deer pattern comes with that and then you can make both those again I bought the girl pattern for this one. I try and alternate when I buy them. I will eventually buy the the opposite of what I've got for each of them, but there's just so many patterns. I can't warrant buying them all at the moment. I'm just checking if there's any other, oh yeah, there's the, there's the mouse as well, the mouse pattern. And uh, I'm sure there's, there's some more, oh, there's an elephant. So there's an elephant pattern. He's, he's got a lovely little tail. And there's also a pig. Oops, sorry. Pig. Again, you get the girl. I, I pick the girl. When you get the boy, he's got like a sailor boy. So he's got more of um, a knitted top and shorts, I think. Um, like I say, um, I'll, I'll list, list them, hopefully. I've got to figure out how to do that. And you can also buy little supplements as well. So I bought, like the dungarees was a supplement that I bought separate. I bought, you can buy removable shoes and you can also sew in, uh, sew, knitting socks onto your feet if you want to. And there's also a different style of feet that you can do. And also 
I'm just trying to find it. Um, uh, there's some different outfits. So this one is jumpers and a cardigan. And there's also dresses. So you've got loads and loads of different little dresses that you can knit and some of them have these like collars and again she's got loads of pictures and instructions and there is another pattern that I've got somewhere which is the mini now I've got the boy and the girl in this one and these are the mini bunnies and these are so cute I'm like mini bunnies and you you knit it's difficult to explain but you kind of knit the dress and then you loop that that bit at the back and you knit the legs into the dress I don't know really how to explain that if you knit you probably understand so you can either do the bare plain or you can knit her so there's also the boy in the little bunny and he's the same you can either do him plain and again you can either do him with where he's a teddy bear or I forgot to say he's a teddy bear or he's a rabbit and he's clothes again are attached to him so that they're not removable but I think you can get a pattern for the smaller I'm not, so I'm not sure whether the smaller clothes are for these or they're for them because there's some mini rabbits as well that I've not purchased yet um there is also I've not tried these patterns yet but I have bought them downloaded them last night one called uh, Mary Jane's Tea Room and these are very similar looking bears, but I think that they're, they're going to be different. Um, and these again, please, 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 please buy them off the proper stores because these poor people are having their patterns pinched and sold on websites that shouldn't be selling them. The money isn't going to the artist that designed them and put the hard work in to make them. So... Uh, again, go on their official site, which is either Etsy or Ravel. I'm not sure if they're on Ravelry. I'll have to check. Or Mary Jane's Tea Room knitting patterns. I'll find links and try and put them in the description. But this is. Um, it says it's Little Bear, and how cute is he? I mean, look at that. He's just cute. <laughs> There's little pants. His plants are a little bit flary. So a bit MC Hammer pants, I don't know about that. Can't wait to have a go at doing him. And I've also, I'm, the thumbnails on this are so small I can't see it. Uh, I've got the, what's they called? Uh, the Candy Bear. Candy Bear. And she looks like she's got some like removable shoes and removable, like again, the pants, but they've got a nice little bit at the bottom sort of I don't know pattern I don't know uh, I've not knitted these yet but they look really nice and I've got one more from them which is a cat um, uh, which again I can't find just a minute still loading so yeah we have a cat and she's got a lovely little dress on let's see if there's another picture of her oh, there we go so yeah there's the cat and she just looks absolutely adorable. She's got a little tail and everything. Again, I think think that I'm not sure if the shoes are. I don't think those are removable. I'm not sure, but I will find out and have a go at doing it. And I cannot wait to have a go at making these. Uh, I'm absolutely obsessed, like with the um, little cotton rabbits, which are not just rabbits, as we've established. Uh, and once they are done, I will show you what they're like. Hello, so I thought I would just show you a few of my makes so far with the little cotton rabbits. I've got things in various states of half made. So first of all, this is one of the little bears that I've done his head. His head's all sewn up, stuff sewn up. He's got his ears, his eyes, his nose, his mouth. There. And he's cute. Um, I've decided for some reason his name's Harvey. Don't know why. Here's Harvey's body, which looks a little bit scary <laughs> at the moment. Um, he has got legs that are knitted, ready to go on, but I've not sewn them up and stuffed them. And then I think that 
no I don't think I've done any of his arms actually so he's partially ready and then I've got the this is a head for the deer that I have stuffed and I need to do the facial features so that's why it's not sewn up yet at the bottom but um, yeah so that one's partially ready and then I've got this one that is a rabbit that is partially ready so I've got this is one with an eye patch so I've got the head that's going to be the nose that's for one of the eyes as a patch we've got the ears that are already knitted ready to go on so they're going to go on the, she actually makes you stitch little stitches at the back to show you well you don't have to do it she doesn't make you um, <laughs> So it's just for the markers of where the ears are going to go. Um, I'll pin them first before I sew them to check. But you can see where the ears. And then again, I've got the body, which is stuffed, ready to go. We also have arms that I sewed up. I sewed, so I keep saying sewed instead of knitted. I knitted last night. And they are ready to be sewn up and stuffed and then sewn on as well. Some little arms. And then obviously I'll be doing the legs at some point. And I've also got um, a dress that I've knitted that I need to block so that it will stop rolling up. And then I can sew it together at the back once it's been blocked. Um, yeah, and then I've got this is a dress that I'm currently in the middle of knitting and started to get to the complicated bit now where you do the arm holes so I've started there's you can see there's a hole there ready to do put the arms in and that's got a little bit of detail on the bottom <clears throat> I'm kind of hoping to do maybe a nurse burr or rabbit or something with this one. So I'm going to do a dark blue, like, um, you know, like the nurses used to wear in sort of like the, the, the 60s when they had a cape. So she's going to have like a light blue dress and then like a navy blue cape. And then I'm going to make her a, a little hat to go on her head as well. Um, and I, I probably might call it Anne because my mum was a nurse and she, when she um, enrolled as a nurse and she used to have to wear the cape and the hat and everything. So I think I might name her after my mum and, and uh, be a little nurse bunny or bear or which, I don't, I'm not sure what character I'm going to do that one. I think it'll be a bunny to be honest. I've not decided yet. And there we have it. So that's some of my current makes. And once I've finished making and sewing together, because I'm still experimenting with different size needles and different yarns and different colours of what works best with what. And that's why I've got a few <laughs> different things on the go at the moment. Thank you for watching. Bye.